seriously wondering, what is a day like as a CRNA? You know, yes, I want to become a CRNA. Yes, thrive as CRNA. I see myself pursuing anesthesia. But what is it like day to day as a CRNA? So in this video, we're going to talk all about that, give you all that information. So keep watching. My name is Christine and welcome to a new video. If it's your first time here and you want to become a CRNA or grow your CRNA career, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So yes, Thrive CRNA family. You must be saying to yourself, you know, yes, I am a nursing student or I'm an ICU nurse or as well, maybe I'm in CRNA school and I'm just starting out. What will be the day of day in the life of a CRNA? So yes, I'm currently an experienced CRNA for many years and I absolutely love what I do. I feel like I've found my calling. As well as being on YouTube and being here for you, I feel we have a family here on YouTube. And I'm here to tell you that it's amazing. I love it for me. It is an amazing advanced practice nursing career. I mean, it's one of the top niche areas as well as top niche areas with salary. So if you want to learn more about salaries, definitely click link above and you can look all into that. But here I'm going to tell you that when I wake up in the morning and go to work, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to do what I do. What I, I'm so excited to do what I love. And anesthesia is my love. I love what I do. Of course, we have families, we have friends that, you know, we enjoy. But it's nice to go into a career that fulfills you and makes you feel like this is me. This is what I want to do. And the thing with anesthesia that I love, there's a melting pot of information. It's a melting pot of people as well as anesthesia is an art and yes we do anesthesia we learn the basic fundamentals but also the way anesthesia is given it, it varies from person to person so I'm here to give you all of that information of from beginning to end for a day um, when I am a CRNA practicing so the shift that I'm gonna do here today is a 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, shift um, there's a variety of shifts you can do as a CRNA. There's uh, 7 to 3, 3 to 11, you can do 11 to 7, you could do 12 hour shifts, you could do 24 hour shifts, you can do 16 hour shifts, and it all depends on where you're working because some hospitals have more rigid shifts while other hospitals have a variety of shifts. You gotta think about it too, depending on if it's a small hospital versus a big hospital. That's where you'll have some variations, as well as, you know, areas, you know, some areas are rural versus urban, and there are a lot more varieties in shift in that way. As well as if you are working in a trauma hospital or teaching institution versus a small community hospital, that also has variations. So in the morning, I wake up approximately around 5.30 in the morning. My hospital where I'm currently working is probably 10 to 15 minutes away. And so I wake up around 5.30, I get myself organized, and I you know, try to dress professional or definitely casual. When I was in CRNA school, we had to dress professional. Um, but as a CRNA, you can dress casual. I go to work. I get, to the, I get to the hospital around 6.15, 6.30, depending on the day, depending on my start time for surgery. I give myself at least 20 to 30 minutes to set up for my case. So I get, I get to the hospital around 6.30, I change into my scrubs because we have access to getting brand new scrubs every morning. I change into my scrubs, I put my cap on. Must be wondering, where does Thrive Sierra get her caps? Well, I get my caps from Kim Caps. I love satin, um, very smooth caps, just to protect my hair because, you know, I have very thick hair and of course, naturally, um, my hair gets dry, so I like a nice cap that keeps my hair nice and moisturized and it doesn't allow it to break. Because I wear hats every single day when I'm at work. I go into the OR, I go to the anesthesia office, then I go ahead and get my get the schedule, I see what room I'm gonna be in, is it gonna be orthopedic, is it gonna be vascular, is it gonna be GYN, is it gonna be general surgery, or is it gonna just be a variety of cases? So we basically figure out, we find out in the morning or the night before, depending on the hospital you're working at, what room you're gonna be in. So you can be prepared and ready to go. I go to my room, I set up my room, make sure I have all my airway equipment ready, all of my, make sure my anesthesia machine is working well, make sure I have all my emergency drugs and as well as my anesthetic drugs for the day. Then, so with anesthesia as a CRNA, you do case by case. You do one case at a time, you take care of one patient at a time. So depending on the case, 
you know, it could be a very long case, it could be a very short case. Um, so I prepare for each case one at a time. So then, you know, I get to the pre-op area, I see my patient, um, I communicate with my staff, you know, I work with an interdisciplinary team. I talk with the nurses, I may have talked to surgeons, I may have, of course, do my pre-op assessment of the patient. Um, I talk with everyone, make sure we're all on the same page, make sure our start time is on point, our start time and see what's going on. Then I take my first patient back for surgery. I put them to sleep, depending on the case. It can be um, sedation versus general anesthetic versus regional anesthesia. It, you know, every case varies depending on what you're gonna do. Of course, it depends on your patient's comorbidities, um, what you're gonna do for these specific cases. So depending on the day, it can be you know, one really long case, or it can be maybe five short cases. And depending on the area, like for example, endo, I can have like 10 cases, but it can be very fast, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, those cases can um, be from start to end. Versus maybe a big neurospine case, it could be, you know, eight hours, you know, depending on the complexity of the case. So that varies from day to day, day to day. For me, I prefer to be to have different cases every day. I like variety. I like trying new things um, because for me, I just want to keep my skill set up in regards to all different types of cases and keeps. Of course, for me, it keeps me keeps it fresh. Um, it allows me to grow, and for me, I like that. But there are some people, which is fine, they love specialties. They are vasculars, they love cardiac surgery, or they might like endo, and I think that's amazing because they are very highly skilled in that area. So, and I give it up to them. So that's definitely always an option if you wanna be into a specialty. There's so much variety in anesthesia. You can either do multiple things, multiple areas, or you can go into a specialty area which is amazing. So then I go through my cases and you know, depending on the day, how many cases I do, I go through all of that. And either I finish my last case and I go home or I get relieved by a CRNA or an anesthesiologist um, for the day. Now, to think about it too, to give you some information, certain hospitals you might be on call, what does that mean? So I might be on call, saying for example, all the cases finish in the hospital around 3 p.m. and there's no more cases to go. So I get to go home and I get to be on call at home. I have to be within 30 minutes from the hospital. So if there's an emergency or there's a case that's added on, I'm gonna have to come back to the hospital and work. Being on call is not every day. Some, some places it's once a week, once every two weeks, all depends on the institution you're working. So just expect as a CRNA that you possibly might be on call and you could be on call from home or there are situations where you're on call in the hospital. It depends on the institution you're working at. So then I go home and um, I spend time with my family and I enjoy my afternoon and I just do it all over again. So I definitely want to give you that information. If you have any questions or comments, definitely put it in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about CRNAs and how to grow your CRNA career, definitely click one of the videos over here and I'll see you in the next video.